Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Appalachian Home Co. Today we're going to be doing some fun projects. I'm going to be doing some window decals using Cricut Window Clean. I have never used this product before and I've had it for a while. I wanted to do this last year for Halloween but didn't get around to it so today I'm going to do it. We're going to be making some window clings. I have the orange color also have the frosted white. I could not find white and I also could not find purple though I really really wanted to try the purple but could not find it anywhere. Even Cricut's website did not have the purple but we're going to be using the orange. We're going to be using the frosted white and also I have some black. So this material is kind of like vinyl but it is not adhesive. It just simply clings to whatever surface you're going to be putting it on. In my case, I'm gonna be putting on the windows of my house. So we're gonna be doing some of these projects today. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Okay, so I'm gonna open this so you can kind of see what the texture of this product is like. You will see that it is glossy on both sides. And I'm assuming that the black is gonna be the same way too. The texture is going to be a little bit different on this frosted. Um, you can kind of see those little bumps. So this is definitely going to have a textured surface, but this is going to make really cute ghosts, I think, for our Halloween scene. And like I said, if you're doing snowflakes or ornaments, this would be perfect. Now I'm in Cricut Design Space. I already have these files saved in my projects but I am going to share both of these projects. So this one I am going to name Trick or Treat Window Cleans. So you can follow the link that I will leave in the video description and this will take you directly to this project. So all you have to do is go to make it. I'll also link this one. These are both Cricut Design Space files. So if you have Cricut access, then you're gonna have no problem making any of these projects. This one is going to be the Halloween scene window cling. So first we're gonna go ahead and actually do this Halloween scene because I'm just dying to get this up. It's gonna be so cute. So. I'm just gonna click on that project and everything um, should be ready to go, but you can customize this to fit your own window. So we're gonna go ahead and go to customize and I'm actually going to go measure the window and make sure that this is going to fit perfectly in my window. So my space is going to be 31 and three quarters. So I'm just going to make my length about 31 and a half. So I'll make sure that um, it all fits on this window. Okay, so now I have mine sized to 41 and a half inches long. And this is going to end up being about 12 inches tall. You can move any of these items around wherever you want to place them. Like this tree is going to cut out separately um, from this fence. I'm just going to put these together as I place them on the window. One thing I do want to mention is these little orange pieces are detached from the black so there is spaces inside the black fence. Also the ghosts are not attached so I'm just going to place those randomly um, however I want to when I go to put this on the window. But let's go ahead and cut everything out and set up our cutter with the right material settings and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to make it and I am gonna be using a Cricut cutting mat, so I'm gonna be using the long one in this case. All right, so first is going to be our ghosts. This is simple enough. I'm going to be using the white window cling to cut out these ghosts. So here I'm first selecting window cling material by just going into materials and typing in what I'm searching for. When I cut out the first round of window clings, this did not cut all the way through. So I did go back and change the material settings to vellum. And vellum actually worked a lot better, but it actually cut through just a little bit of the backing. So I would use a pressure of about 200 when cutting this material. You also want to check and make sure um, of the cut settings on your own machine and on your own materials just to do some test cuts and make sure of whichever material you're using is going to work for you. Thank you. 
So now I'm going to finish cutting out all of the rest of my pieces with the black Klingon material and the orange. And you'll see right here in just a second, my mat was not sticky enough to hold down this material. So it ended up crunching up under my machine. So the way that I fixed that was just to put some masking tape along the edges and along the top. And that seemed to work perfectly to hold this down. And you can see those little pieces are cutting out perfectly now under that setting for vellum. So once I have everything cut out, I'm going to start weeding out my material. I'm weeding this window clean material just like I would regular vinyl and I'm also going to leave this on the backing paper. It's going to make it so much easier when I go to place this on the window because you can use the front side or the back side, either one when you're placing this on the window. You just want to keep this in mind when you're cutting out if you need to mirror your image or not according to whichever surface you are applying these to. I'm just going to be using some Windex to clean my window really quickly before I put on these window clean decals and then I'm just going to place them straight from the backing onto the window. Window cling material is not like regular vinyl in that it does not stick with adhesive to your window. So if you mess up on any of these parts, it is easily removable. You just peel it off like you would a piece of plastic from your window. So don't worry about placing this in the wrong spot. You can easily redo it. Okay, so now we're going to do these last two little window clings. So on the first one, I just have some little orange embellishments that are going to be layered on top of the black. And on the bats, I'm going to have some black cutouts that we're going to layer just on top. This one, it's kind of the opposite. I'm going to have a black background with some orange letters cut out that I'm going to layer on top of that. You can also cut these out in slices so that these orange letters fit perfectly inside the back black ground. But I just wanted to show you that you can also layer this material as well. One thing you can do to make this a little bit easier is to mirror everything that's going to go on top. So all of the foreground decals like these little swirls and the little black part of the bats, you can mirror all of those images. That way you can just flip over your backing paper and rub those on to your back layer. You can also mirror your back layer and leave your front layer not mirrored so that when you go to place them on your window, you can place them just as we did before, but that's totally optional and up to you. I'm gonna be using the vellum as my material setting on these cuts as well. Okay, so here is the weeded decal material. Um, so now I'm going to show you why that we mirrored this. I'm just going to flip this over 
and put it right on top of this. And you just wanna kinda of line it up as best you can. And once I have everything lined up, I'm just gonna kinda of rub it down. And then you can just pull off your backing. And now you have a perfectly layered window clean. And that completes our window decals. These turned out so cute. Just to note, the orange does not show up on the black as well as the black shows up on the orange. So I would definitely either slice the orange out of the black to get it to show up better in the window or reverse the coloring. But other than that, I thought these turned out so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this gave you some ideas for Halloween or even for Christmas, other holidays as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back again in my next video.